Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me for this week's episode of Real World Basics. Today we are going to be talking about taxes and insurance. So if you are curious as to what taxes and insurance are and how they work, then keep watching because this uh, this week's video is going to go through uh, a basic introduction to the two and uh, kind of talk about how you might encounter them in the real world. So to go along with today's video, I've got uh, two resources in the description below. The first is a paycheck uh, tax calculator that will come in handy uh, for our discussion about taxes. And uh, the second one is a resource on how to actually file your taxes. So what are taxes? Um, Taxes are money that you pay to your local, state, and federal government. They are um, taken in a variety of different ways. So your income tax is taken out of your paycheck. Um, property taxes are applied to any property that you own. So think like you own a car, you buy a house, um, even like RVs are taxed. Um, your land you might own, um, and then uh, sales tax is going to be on um, purchases that you make, and they vary depending on like the type of thing you're purchasing, and they also vary state to state and how much they charge. So there is nothing like receiving your first paycheck in the mail to experience your first crushing blow by income tax. Um, it's always so disheartening to, to see how much you made and then how much was taken out and what you're left with. But when you are applying for jobs or discussing salary, take into account that a good portion of whatever salary they're offering you will go towards state and federal income taxes. So make sure that the remaining balance is enough income for you, which is a, a great time to check out the pay tech, uh, paycheck tax calculator. So for property tax, um, a good rule of thumb is that the more expensive or fancy your property is, um, then the higher your property taxes will be. So for example, I drive a 12 year old base model Pontiac sedan. There's nothing really wild about her. And my partner drove an equally old Acura SUV. So both cars were passed down to us by their original owners. My annual property tax was about $30 for, for the whole year. And his was about a hundred. So his property tax uh, was higher because his vehicle had a higher original sale value than mine. So another fact about property taxes, the property taxes you pay when you buy a house can vary depending on the like surrounding neighborhood, like how in demand it is, if it's like really close to a lot of um, important or interesting, cool attractions, locations, that kind of thing. But your property taxes, um, those will go largely into supporting the more local community, such as um, helping to fund your schools or your libraries. Now, insurance is kind of like a contract you enter to protect yourself from devastating financial costs when really bad stuff happens. So insurance is available for a variety of things, such as like medical insurance, your car insurance, um, renter's insurance, pet insurance. Um, and if you like live in a place that's like prone to um, like more natural phenomena, like when I lived down on the Eastern shore, um, everybody was required to have flood, uh, flood insurance because of how frequently it flooded down there. So I imagine places that get hit by hurricanes a lot, like in Florida, um, you would need stuff like that too. 
um, but all this is these different types of insurance but it doesn't mean things are free if you have insurance so the way it works is you have your monthly deductible which you pay each month to your insurance provider to maintain your coverage that's your contract with them and in the event that something happens, you have a predetermined deductible that you have to meet before your insurance kicks in. And then the terms are um, kind of just what uh, they are going to pay once they do kick in, like what percentage they'll pay. Um, they will maybe want to only work with certain like healthcare providers for health insurance. That's a pretty good example. Like not all different doc, not all doctor's offices take the same insurance cards um, or insurance types, I should say. So an example of these insurance components in use, um, let's say for example, a dog has pet medical insurance. This is a real thing. And each month you pay your pet's insurance provider $50 to maintain their coverage. So let's say this Thanksgiving, the pet ate a lot of table scraps and ended up sick with pancreatitis. You take the pet to the vet where they say that the cost to treat her is going to start at $2,000. So you know, based off of the terms of your um, insurance, that your deductible is $300, so that's how much you have to pay before the insurance will kick in and pay the remaining 90% uh, of the bill, regardless of how high it is. So insurance can be really impactful on people's lives. So for example, without health insurance, the cost of medical care um, will prevent people from seeking preventative or even insurance care just because that cost is so overwhelming. And also in some situations, um, insurance is actually a legal requirement like uh, car insurance is. So either way, your insurance is meant as a safety net from the extreme life events that could cripple you. So that overview of taxes and insurance wraps up our segment on personal finance. So I hope you got some good takeaways from this segment of videos, and I'm looking forward to next week's topic, um, which starts a whole new segment of job hunting. So next week, we will be talking about writing a resume. And as always, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Manassas Park City Library if you have any questions or topics you'd like to see discussed in upcoming real-world basics videos. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye!